win a one year license with our sponsor, Previs Pro. Stick around to the end of the video and I'll tell you how. In our last video, we talked about some of the core features in Previs Pro. Link to that in the description below or somewhere up there. But today, I wanna to talk about some of the more advanced tools that give you a much wider range of customization options and take your previs to the next level. But before I dive into the app, if you're an indie filmmaker who wants to save both time and money on your visual effects, make sure to render me out a like and hit that subscribe button for more tips, tutorials, and interviews for the budget-minded indie filmmaker. Now, we previously talked about how you can customize your characters, but with the built-in tool powered by Ready Player Me, you can get even greater control of the look of your cast. Just open up your scene, tap the pen tool at the top, select character, then tap Create Custom. This requires an internet connection through Wi-Fi or mobile data, depending on your device. From here, you can start with a number of presets, then customize pretty much everything from hair, facial features, wardrobe, and more. Or for another level of immersion, you can start with a photo of the actor that you want in the role, and the app will create an avatar for you to then customize further. This is one of my favorite tools within Previs Pro because it really helps to further sell the scene, giving me a much stronger idea of what it could look like on the day. While we're talking about customization, let's get into props. Previs Pro already has a wide variety of props to choose from, but let's say you can't find the exact MacGuffin you're looking for. What then? Well, if you hit that pencil icon at the top and select Prop, you can then choose Create Custom and enter a short description of the prop you want to create. In just a few moments, Previs Pro will generate a low poly prop that you can use in your scene based on your description. Another of my favorite tools in Previs Pro is especially helpful if you want a more interactive or cinematic approach to camera placement, and that's the augmented reality feature. Once you've built up your scene, just tap on the dotted cube icon to enter the augmented reality mode. From here, you're gonna wanna move your camera around a little so the app can find a flat surface to place your scene. By default, we'll start in the tabletop mode, which is great if you don't have a lot of space, but you just want to line your shots up on a miniature scale. If we go into full scale mode, we can shoot our scene as if the actors are actually in the room with us. I found this especially helpful on location scouts. See, what I'd do first is I'd like to build up my scene ahead of time. Then when I get to the location, I can quickly pull it up on my phone or iPad and start lining up the shots to see if they'll work on the shoot date. This gives me a much better idea of how the scene will work within the confines of the space that we have. And you have the added benefit of being able to adjust the placement of your actors, props, lights, and equipment right there with real-time feedback. While you're in AR, you can take stills of your shots or even record the scene if you plan on moving your camera. And the app keeps track of your camera's physical placement, so you can quickly communicate how to set up your shot with your camera department. Now let's say you have a very specific location and you want to make sure your storyboards accurately reflect the nuances of your scene. Another great app that complements Previs Pro is Polycam. With Polycam, you can use your phone's LiDAR camera to scan objects, or in this case, your location, and import a 3D model of your environment. Now you have a virtual set of your real-world location, which you can import, light, and stage just as you would with any other scene in Previs Pro. And if you don't need realistic textures or you want to keep the file size low on your device, you can also choose Room Mode in Polycam. This lets you scan the room like you would in LiDAR mode, but keeps the file size low while giving you a size accurate accurate model of location and furniture. And by combining this with the previously mentioned augmented reality feature, you can even conduct a follow-up location scout without ever leaving your living room. Once you've built up your scenes and you're ready to export everything, another great tool for giving it that final touch is through the AI-driven tool labeled Style Grading. Style Grading allows you to change the aesthetics of your shots while keeping your framing, blocking, poses, and lighting all intact. All you have to do is first go into post mode by clicking the clapperboard at the top right of the screen, then tap the refresh icon at the bottom left and tap apply style grade. Tap the text box at the bottom and that will bring you to the prompt screen. For best results, briefly describe what's going on in the scene. If it's set in a particular era, make sure to include that as well. Once you hit save, you can choose what style you want it to be graded in. The slider here tells the app just how much influence you want the style grading to have over the original image, ranging from not very much at all to basically a brand new shot. Now just tap the wand and let the magic happen. I've been having a lot of fun with this feature, really diving into the rabbit hole with different looks and styles, but it's important to remember that this tool is meant to save you time. Don't get too caught up in getting the perfect representation of the final shot. After all, this is still Previs. And those are just a few of the more advanced features of Previs Pro. There's a lot more I'm excited to cover in future videos, so you won't want to miss that. But in the meantime, if you want to enter our drawing to win a one-year subscription to Previs Pro, we'll be drawing the names of three lucky winners between now and April 1st. To enter the drawing, all you need to do is subscribe to the channel. Then head over to vfx2go.com slash Previs Pro. Enter your name, email, and YouTube handle, and you're all set. By entering one time, you'll be eligible for all three drawings. Names will be drawn February 1st, 
March 1st and April 1st of 2025. That's three chances to get your hands on a one-year subscription to Previs Pro. See official giveaway rules and details in the description below or at our signup page at vfx2go.com slash Pro. And if you want to learn more about how Previs can save you both time and money on the VFX on your next project, be sure to click this video right over here. I've been Jake, and remember that together we can reframe what's possible.